Welcome back guys. You're watching my YouTube channel Bioha and I'm your biology facilitator Dr. Seema Sharma. Dear friends, this video includes detailed information on Mendel's laws of inheritance. But before switching over to that, let's have a brief recap of Mendel and his research work. Grigor John Mendel was born in Austrian Empire. He was an Augustinian priest in St. Thomas Monastery of Brno. He worked on garden pea plant for seven years. He was the first person to establish the reason of inheritance of traits. He also proposed three principles of inheritance that describe the transmission of genetic traits in organisms. Unfortunately, his work remained unnoticed and unappreciated for more than three decades. But in 1900, three workers independently rediscovered the principles of heredity already worked out by Mandel. That's why Mandel is regarded as father of modern genetics. Coming to his laws of inheritance, Mandel's first law of inheritance is known as law of dominance. This law states that when parents with pure contrasting traits are crossed together, only one form of the trait appears in the next generation. The trait which appears in the next generation is known as dominant trait. The trait that do not express is called a recessive trait. Mandel's second law of inheritance is law of independent assortment. This law states that a pair of traits segregates independently of another pair during gamete formation. Mandel's third law of inheritance is known as law of segregation. And this law states that every individual organism contains two alleles for each trait. And these alleles segregate during meiosis in such a way that each gamete contains only one of the alleles. So this was regarding the statements of Mandel's laws of inheritance. But in your board exams, understanding and application based questions are asked from these laws. For that, we have to study about these in little more detail. First, I am taking Mendel's first law of inheritance, that is law of dominance. Each trait is controlled by two alleles. If the alleles of an inherited pair differ, means they are in heterozygous condition. In that case, one that determines the organism's appearance is called the dominant allele. Whereas the other has no noticeable effect on the organism's appearance and is called recessive allele. Same can be understood with the help of this illustration where you can see one of the contrasting trait of Mandel's pea plant was height. Plant can be tall or dwarf. So when these purebred parents, they were crossed in F1 progeny, heterozygous tall was obtained. It has capital T and small t and its appearance was tall. Tallness is the dominant trait and it is controlled by capital T. So it was experimentally proved by Mendel with the help of this monohybrid cross. And this law is also known as law of expression of character. Coming to second law of inheritance, law of independent assortment. And this law states that a pair of traits segregates independently of another pair during gamete formation. And the reason is that the individual's heredity factors, which are actually genes, they assort independently and different traits get equal opportunity to occur together. This also means that Selection of an allele of one trait has nothing to do with the selection of an allele for any other trait. This law can be explained with the help of dihybrid cross. So let's go through this dihybrid cross where the dominant trait of a seed is round and yellow and the recessive traits are wrinkled and green seeds. If these two parents are crossed, in F1 progeny, round seeds with yellow color were obtained and it actually justifies Mandel's first law of inheritance. But in F2 generation, instead of only round and yellow seeds, round yellow seeds, round green seeds, wrinkled yellow seeds, wrinkled green seeds were seen in the phenotypic ratio of 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1. And with the help of this dihybrid cross, Mendel concluded that a pair of traits segregates independently of another pair during gamete formation. Now coming to Mendel's third law of inheritance. Mendel's third law of inheritance is law of segregation and it states that every individual organism contains two alleles for each trait and these alleles segregate during meiosis means during gamete formation and 
Each gamete contains only one of the alleles. This means an offspring receives a pair of alleles for a trait by inheriting homologous chromosomes from the parent organisms. One allele for each trait from each parent. Here you can see for seed color, each homozygous parent in the parental generation form only one kind of gamete. Yellow colored seed while a plant is making only capital Y containing gamete and green colored pure plant is making only small Y type of gamete. When these parents, they are crossbred, F1 progeny is obtained and the F1 progeny is heterozygous. It can produce two kind of gametes. Further selfing of this F1 offspring leads to formation of F2 generation with a 3 is to 1 phenotypic ratio of yellow to green seeds. Hence, Mendel concluded two members of a gene pair segregate from each other during meiosis and each gamete has an equal probability of obtaining either member of the gene. The other name of law of segregation is law of purity of gametes. So that's it about Mendel's three laws of inheritance. If you are interested to know about the important questions on Mendel's law of inheritance, then you can refer to this solved worksheet. With this, it's time to wind up this video. Thank you so much for watching and supporting BioHub. Bye-bye.